Hey guys, it's Bone Hunter here, and welcome to a new project today, which is going to be my top 10 Sonic games of all time. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while actually, but I've never got the chance to do it, and now that I've got all this new Roxy equipment, I thought this would be a good time to do it. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing my top 10 games. Remember, these are just opinions, so don't send any hate mail. It's all just in my opinions, uh, I'm not asking you guys to follow my opinions. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I need to mention that there might be a couple of spoilers in this game because I'm not exactly doing the first level or anything. I might be doing like quite a lot of later levels in the game. So if you guys don't want to know what the later levels are, then just don't watch it. But if you are, then I hope you guys can enjoy my top ten, my top ten Sonic games. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe um, and favorite if you can. And yep, I hope you guys will enjoy. Alright guys, uh, one sec. Alright guys, um, okay, 10th on my list has got to be the original. Now, the original, yep. Now, I wasn't exactly much of a classic Sonic fan, to be perfectly honest with you guys, but I couldn't forget the game that started everything off. This game, although I, was, although I wasn't much of a 2D platformer, I really enjoyed playing this game. And, you know, when you're on a Saturday morning, you don't feel like doing anything, this game was really what what I really wanted to do. This game provides really good platforming um, and you know just really really good gameplay and this was the first original so if you don't like this and uh, well you don't really like Sonic do you but if it wasn't for this game this game wonder this game started off everything so yeah and that is why this is number 10 this is a really good game and I definitely suggest you buy it if you're a Sonic fan. Hey guys, giving it spell 100 here. Welcome to. Oh wait, yeah, right. Okay, on number nine on my list, it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now this game, I think, completely beats the original. Not only because it's got tails in, which means you can play co-op, but the gameplay and there's much more levels, and it's just much easier. I found the first one was really challenging, when this one I actually could sit back and enjoy it. And this game has been presented in nearly every console, because even if it's Xbox, PS3, Game Boy. And it's just great. I thought it was just a vast improvement from the first one. And the levels and the designs of levels are much better than the first one, I think. And they're much more bright and colourful. And, you know, you can stop and admire the scenery. Not that you can do it in Generations or anything, because that is actually pretty hard. But, um, no, this game's great. And I'm more than happy to put this as 9 on my list. And, yeah, so I definitely recommend getting this one too. Okay guys, uh, number 7, it's going to be, wait not number 7, the Brit, it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Now this game was really really good, now not many people enjoyed this game because they were brought, it was just the modern Sonic, now people just complained too much because this game was really good, even though, you, even though yeah they can do the home and attack and all, but who cares, I mean, it's still freaking bringing back the 2D classic, the other thing I didn't like about this game, was that you could have to download it and you couldn't actually buy it in the shop which is really really bad hopefully for episode 2 they'll fix that but and it wasn't that but very long a game it was just basically as long as the first game actually which is just 4 stages but this game was still good and I actually like that they put the Herbin attack in there I thought I gave it a bit more variety than the first one anyway guys that's um, Sonic Hedgehog episode 4 now this game is only like £10 so I definitely recommend downloading it
Alright guys, at number 7 it's um, Sonic Unleashed. Now this game was the first game to uh, um, do the new engine which is the, the daytime stages in Sonic Unleashed. Now people like these stages very much but um, the Warehog stages, they, that's what people didn't like about this game so they started to judge it but to be honest, it, the, the Warehog games are only half of the game so you can't just hit the whole game just for one bit of the game. Now, to be honest, I thought this actually brought some good good stuff to it. I thought that the Warehog was actually a good idea. And people, you know, it's a bit Sega wanted to try something new, and that's what, exactly what they did. So I like this game because of the, of the daytime stages. I wasn't particularly too fond of the Warehog stages, but I still like the daytime stages. I thought they were fun, fast-paced, and the engine still carried on, and it's still carrying on now, so it just shows how good this engine really was. And it still continues in Sonic Colors and in Generations. So yeah, this is why it's number 7 and I would definitely recommend buying it. Hey guys, uh, number 6 is Sonic Heroes. Now, this game was probably the most different Sonic game that there is. Simply because you could be, you could choose from three characters and you can use all of them at the same time. Now, a lot, a lot of people again didn't like this game, but personally, this was the first actual proper Sonic game I actually got into, and I actually really enjoyed it. It's definitely fun to play with friends, and I used to play it all the time. I mean, once I got into it, so, and it's, it's just, you know. You can do so much stuff on it, and I thought the the fact that it was different was actually an advantage instead of a disadvantage. So uh, I don't really understand why people don't like it. Um, so yeah, I just like I thought even that the graphics for the age and time were actually pretty good. I mean, it was part of the Dreamcast era, so you kind of got to give it some credit. So anyway, yeah, that's Sonic Heroes, guys, and um, that was my number six, and I definitely recommend buying this one too. Okay guys, uh, number 5 is Sonic 06. Now before you get your pitchforks out and your knives and your guns and all, I just want to say, this game, I first got in year 7 and it's the storyline that really got me in depth with it. I mean, I love the storyline to it, it was absolutely great, it was probably one of the best storylines in any game I've ever seen. And to see Sonic in such a dark and mysterious way like that, it was actually really really good. I mean, yeah, and it did introduce Silver, which in my opinion, Silver's a great character. And the gameplay, yeah, I know it was it was a bit glitchy sometimes, and I know that the town stages were a bit boring, but, you know, Sonic Adventure had town stages, you don't seem to complain about that. But no, uh, I really enjoyed this game, and I don't care what anyone says, but I enjoyed this game, I even did an LP of it, so... And that is why it's number five. Well, um, you guys are definitely not going to get this game. I can see already, but see it. <laughs> 